In the context of higher organisms such as mammals semen is defined as the viscous biological fluid produced from the reproductive organ reproductively. Mature male members of a species during the act of ejaculation, which usually occurs at the culmination of sexual intercourse or masturbation. Semen consists of two main parts, the spermatozoa or sperm cells, which comprises about 5% of semen, and the seminal plasma or seminal fluid. The spinal plasma consists of secretions from the seminal vesicles, the prostate, and the bulbo-urethral glands. Among the many sugars, amino acids, enzymes, and minerals present in the seminal fluid. The most noteworthy and major energy source for sperm cells is fructose. Semen analysis or seminogram or spermiogram is a comprehensive series of clinical tests that evaluates the quality and quantity of a semen sample. The most important and commonly analyzed parameters included under semen analysis are liquefaction time, amount, color pH, odor, viscosity, sperm motility, sperm viability, sperm morphology, sperm count, and fructose content. In this video, we'll be performing semen analysis of human semen based on the previously mentioned parameters. Liquefaction time The first and foremost parameter in semen analysis is the liquefaction time. Liquefaction time is the time taken for this conversion process to occur. To perform this test, note down the time when the semen sample is collected. Observe the semen sample and note down the time when the liquefaction is complete. The normal liquefaction time for human semen is 10 to 30 minutes. Any period of time longer than 30 minutes is indicative of infection. Semen volume Before estimating semen volume, the semen sample needs to go through the liquefaction period. Allow 10 to 30 minutes after collection for the sample to liquefy, before measuring the volume to determine the volume of the semen sample. Tilt the sample container for a couple of minutes, and then carefully pour the liquefied semen sample into a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder completely till the last drop. Wait a couple of minutes for the sample along the inner walls of the cylinder to settle down, and note down the volume add. The volume of 0.5 milliliters to the observed volume, in order to compensate for the semen sample stuck to the walls of the collection container. An alternative method of measuring semen volume is to directly aspirate the liquefied semen sample into a 10 cc needless syringe. After positioning the container in a slanting position for a couple of minutes prior to aspiration, make sure to aspirate completely till the last drop, while at the same time taking extreme care not to aspirate any air bubbles. Approximately 2 to 5 milliliters is considered as the normal volume of semen per ejaculation. Low semen volume, also known as hypospermia, could be an indication of partial or complete blockage in the reproductive tract, especially the seminal vesicles. It could also be the result of certain infections, such as STDs. High semen volume, also called hyperspermia, can be caused by extended periods of sexual arousal and stimulation, abstinence from sex and masturbation, excess intake of fluids, etc. Color The normal color of human semen is white to grayish white. Semen color is influenced by diet age medication and certain underlying medical conditions. Red to brownish semen color indicates the presence of blood, a condition called hematospermia. This could be a result of infection in the reproductive tract. pH Take a strip of either broad range or narrow range pH paper and touch one surface onto the semen sample. Observe the pH paper for color change. A more accurate laboratory pH meter can also be used to determine the pH. Normal semen has a slightly alkaline pH ranging from approximately 7.2 to 8. Acidic semen could be indicative of a blockage in one or both seminal vesicles. High alkaline pH could be a result of infection.
odor. Normal semen has a characteristic bleach or musky smell. Due to the presence of tiny amounts of basic amines like cadaverine, putrescine, spermine, and spermidine, slight variations to this smell could result from a person's diet including certain medications. Viscosity The viscosity of semen is determined on a sample that had already been through liquefaction. When normal semen is drawn in a narrow tube or dropper and allowed to dispense from the tube by the force of gravity, it flows out of the tube in the form of medium-sized discrete drops without any trailing strands. Abnormally viscous semen however flows out of the tube in the form of long and thick viscous strands that are more than 2 centimeters. This condition is called semen hyperviscosity or SHV and is an indication of inadequate functioning of the prostate or seminal vesicles and also infection hyperviscous semen can severely impede sperm motility and can lead to male infertility. Hypoviscose semen or watery semen on the other hand could be due to excessive masturbation ejaculation after an extended period of stimulation and arousal leading to a low sperm count and also due to a certain underlying infections. Sperm motility the sperm motility test is done within 60 minutes of sample collection. Sperm motility is the ability of a sperm cell to move in the surrounding fluid medium. A drop of liquefied semen sample is taken in a glass light and gently covered with a cover slip. The slide is immediately observed under the 40x objective of the microscope. 100 or T100 random sperm cells are briefly observed one by one to check for motility or the lack thereof, to minimize the chances of repeated assessment of the same sperm cell for motility. The microscopic field of the view is changed frequently in a specific order of movement, such as from the left corner of the slide to the right corner, etc., until 100 or 200 cells have been assessed. Based on the extent of motility, human sperms are divided into four grades, also known as motility grades. The various grades of motility are calculated in terms of percentage by counting 100 or 200 random sperm cells. Grade A or motility 4 sperm cells have rapid progressive motility these are the strongest and swim fast in a straight line. Grade B or motility 3. These sperm cells have a slow or sluggish or nonlinear progressive motility. These also move forward but tend to travel in a curved or crooked motion. Grade C or motility 2 or non-progressive motility. They move their tails but do not move forward. Grade D or motility 1 or immotility these are immotile and fail to move at all. The immotile sperms may either be dead or alive which will be ascertained in the next test which is known as sperm viability test.
Now we are going to perform the sperm count test. In this video, we'll be using the hemocytometer with a pipette to perform the sperm count. For this experiment, you will need the following freshly collected human semen sample. First, prepare the counting chamber by placing the cover slip in position. Keep this aside. Now draw a liquefied semen sample till the 1 milliliter mark of the pipette. Then transfer the 1 milliliter of human semen sample to 20 milliliter of semen's diluting fluid container. Load the counting chamber with the diluted semen sample. Place the chamber in humid conditions for 10 to 15 minutes. Finally, under 40x objective, begin counting the sperm cells within the four corners at the central small squares of the central large square. Remember to apply the thumb rule of cell counting by excluding cells found along the bottom and left borders of the squares. Calculate the sperm count per milliliter using the formula sperm cells per milliliter equals number of sperm cells into 20 into 1000 by 0 0.02 or in short sperm cells per milliliter equals sperm counted multiplied by 1 million. Thanks for the watching my video.